Good morning. It's the North Carolina Canuck with Little Bikes Big Adventures. I'm going to talk a bit about the actual shifting of the 2021 CT125, the Honda Trail. So, you all know it is clutchless, right? No clutch. And I've been riding bikes for over 35 years, and big bikes, little bikes, dirt bikes, cruisers, sport bikes, you name it, uh, motocross, adventure bikes, scooters. There's a scooter over there. Um, there's a monkey over here I also ride. This has been, of anything, the most challenging to ride smoothly, shifting gears. So it is clutchless, but that isn't exactly a true statement. There is a clutch built into it. So when you're shifting, all the way down is neutral. When you shift up, it's heel click first gear, heel click second, third, fourth. Um, and to shift down, it's third, second, first, neutral. All right? So I've been hearing a whole bunch of things on the internet on how to shift it, and they're talking about rev limiting or matching the revs and all that stuff. Um, I found out a really simple thing, and just by accident. Like I said, I've been a lot of experience riding bikes, but nothing with that has been clutchless. So when this bike is actually driven or ridden, when you shift up, again, like I said, you're in neutral, you're all the way down, you're going to heel shift into first. So you can see how that goes down and grabs the gear. It doesn't actually grab it. It, it actually puts it in gear, but it engages the clutch. It goes in the gear, that little bit of right there. So that's actually the clutch. So when you're riding and you want to shift up, that's fine. Um, relatively simple and easy. Off on the throttle and then heel down and throttle back up. When you're shifting down, let's say I'm in, I don't know, let's say it's in third gear and I'm coming up the intersection, I want to shift down a second. I actually can maintain my speed. I push down and hold it. It's actually in neutral now and the bike doesn't accelerate or decelerate. When I let up on the selector, it actually engages the clutch and the vehicle is back rolling again under its own power. Again, neutral, really slowly and it goes into gear. So there actually is a clutch built in this bike. It's just you operate it with your foot. So if you can ride a clutch or drive a clutch car, standard car, this is very similar. It's how I basically put it in my head to get an understanding. Um, any questions, any comments, give me a shout. Again, uh, North Carolina Canuck with the Little Bikes Big Adventures channel on YouTube. I've never asked for any, but if you want to like and subscribe, go ahead and do it. Um, enjoy the day and be safe and ride safe. Thank you.